everyone, it's Lara. So today I'm going to share with you the progress I made with my Gotta Panama project pan. So this project is a Pokemon themed project. It is a Fantastic Ladies collab project and it was started by Heather Dean. So I have a list of all the prompts here, so I'm just going to go in the order that they are listed. So the first prompt is Squirtle, and this is something that is blue or cool toned. So for this prompt, I picked the Pacifica eye pencil in gunmetal. I will show you what it looks like at the introduction. This is what it's looking like now. So I did use it a few times. I'm actually wearing it today as an eye base under my eyeshadow. And I think I sharpened it once. So there's not a ton of progress, but I have used it. So the next prompt is Bulbasaur. And Bulbasaur is something green or neutral. And for that, I picked this Mario Badescu facial spray. And when I introduced it, it was brand new, and now it's down here. So not a ton of progress because I had a facial spray in another project. So I kind of had to split my attention between the two of them. So not a ton of progress here. Next prompt is Charmander, and that's something red, orange, or warm toned. So for that, I chose this lip pencil from Me Me Me. So I'll show you what it looks like when I introduced it. And this is what it's looking like now. I did use it a couple of times and I think I did sharpen it once, but yeah, again, not a ton of progress there either. Next we have Pikachu and that is something yellow or has yellow packaging and I chose this Too Faced pressed banana powder so I'll show you what it looked like before. And this is what it's looking like now. So there is a dip going about here near this banana and I feel like the like peach powder is wearing down faster than the bananas. The bananas are still kind of raised, <laughs> I guess you could say. But yeah, a little bit of a dip going. Since these updates are every other month, I am thinking maybe by next check-in I can hit pan, but we'll see. Next prompt is Team Rocket, and that is a trio. So for this, I chose this trio of eyeshadows from La Biat. I'll show you what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So we do have some dips going. I did use it seven times, and I am wearing it today. My goal is to use this either 25 times or until I hit pan, whatever comes first. Next we have Ash, and this is something you are determined to finish. So for me, I'm determined to finish this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'll show you what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. I have worn this a bunch of times. I've been really concentrating my brush on this side, so I do feel like I expanded the pan a little bit towards the top, and I've been wearing down this section of the product. It's still quite thicker on this side compared to this side, but yeah, getting there. So next we have Brock, and that is something you love. And for me, I love the Paula's Choice skincare line. This really works for me. It really helps with my dry, itchy, eczema-prone skin. Really like it. And I was working on this one, and this one is pretty much done. There is just the littlest bit at the bottom that I can't quite squeeze out so the next time I go to use this I'm gonna cut it open and scoop everything out and because these updates are every other month there's gonna be a bit of time 
and I think I can pretty much finish this in one or two uses. So I'm going to be introducing this one as a replacement now because that way I can start working on it as soon as this one's done since there's really only like one or two uses left there. So this one is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It's pretty much the same as this one, except this one has SPF. This has SPF 30. I haven't used this one yet. It is completely full. Next, we have Palette Town, and that is something that is comfortable. And for that, I chose this Nude Maker Gel from Majolica Majorica. So this is marketed as a concealer. But I like to use it as a primer because it doesn't have a lot of pigment. It's more like the consistency of like a tinted moisturizer or something like that. So when I put it in, it was pretty much full. I had only used it a few times. And it's kind of hard to tell where it is now because the packaging is opaque and also there's a lot of air in it and the air doesn't stay out of the tube, if that makes sense. But I can kind of, you know, pinch it, and it seems maybe about halfway, if I had to guess. I'm thinking maybe next check-in this could be done. Oh, I accidentally skipped the Misty prompt. So there is a prompt for Misty, and that is a gimme product. And unfortunately, I didn't finish my gimme product, which I thought I could, but... It's this AC Makeup Tokyo Foundation. I was here and now I'm down here. It's pretty close. I have another foundation and a different project and I was using mostly that one and this one is kind of light so I like to use this as a mixing, like mixing it in with something too dark. And that one didn't really need mixing so I don't quite have it finished. Next check-in, I think, for sure. I could probably have it done. Next prompt is for Gary, and that is a product that was hyped. And for that, I chose this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. And when I put it in, I had already used a lot of it, so there wasn't a ton left. And right now, there's still some in there, like the one does come out with product on it, but I can see all the way down to the bottom. There's a lot of windowing around like this area, so I'm thinking it's really only at the bottom. There doesn't even really seem to be any stuck around the stopper. So we're getting there. Getting there. Maybe, maybe next check-in. It can be done. Next we have Professor Oak, and that's a product that is helpful. For that, I chose this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And when I put it in, it was halfway, and now it is done. I have squeezed the life out of this. It is officially done. So I'm going to be rolling in its place a mascara. So for me, my lashes, like the shape and how many there are, aren't really a problem. Like they're pretty curly on their own and you know long and full but the problem with my lashes are they're kind of like a light brown or dark blonde color so you don't really see them very well if I'm not wearing mascara so even a mascara that doesn't really do much for volume or anything it still makes a difference for my lashes so even if it just tints it black I feel like it still makes a difference for me so I'm going to be putting in a mascara. This isn't my most favorite mascara. This is the Can Make Tokyo mascara. But any mascara pretty much makes a difference for me. So I'm going to put that in. And the last two prompts are for Mew and Mew 2. So for the Mew one, it's a legendary product. And for Mew 2, it's a dupe of a product. So in my introduction, I was a little confused about these prompts and then after like reading people commenting in the group basically they were saying the legendary product is just a product you really like basically some like a holy grail product and then 
the dupe one is just a dupe of something. So for me, I chose two nail polishes. I chose this OPI nail polish for Mew, and I used this one a bunch. I used it a lot. So I was up here, and now I was down there. I have it on my toes now. I was pairing this with an eyeshadow from my Pan That palette, so really liked that. Used a lot of that. And as for the other one for Mew 2, this e.l.f. nail polish, I didn't touch it. I didn't use it once. It's kind of a dark gray color. It's springtime. I wasn't really feeling the color. I kind of more focused on this one. This is the only product in this project that I didn't use. But I'm going to try and make an effort to use it at least once between now and the next check-in. Okay, so just to do a quick little recap, I did finish this eye primer. It's the only product that's officially finished as of this update. And this lotion is pretty much finished. I'm counting it finished. I will cut it open and scoop as much out as I can, but I can't squeeze any more out of it. And I'm replacing these with a mascara and another face lotion. So technically two empties for this update. And for next check-in, I'm thinking maybe, maybe I could have this Majolica Majorca Nude Maker Gel done. This AC Makeup Tokyo Foundation done. This concealer from Makeup Revolution done. I'll probably have the mascara done. I only use mascaras for three months, regardless of if there's product or not left, because I'm not taking any chances with my eyes. So the next check-in will be around that time, so that will probably be done. And I'm hoping to hit pan on this powder. I don't really know about that. Everything else is going to take a while for me to use. Yeah, I think next check-in I'll definitely have some more empties. Anyway, that's everything. I'll see you next time. Bye!